Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. Today we are diving into the cutting edge of AI with a test drive of Microsoft's Orca 2, a massive 13 billion parameter language model. This powerhouse model promises incredible capabilities in text generation and we are eager to see what it can do. We will be putting it through its paces and various prompts and challenges testing its creativity, factual accuracy, and overall performance. So buckle up, get ready to explore the potential of Orca 2 and see if it lives up to the hype. Let's see what this has to offer. So alright, let's start the testing process. I will be using Text Generation Web UI for this testing process and I already have downloaded Microsoft Orca 13B model in GGF format. You can see right over here and I have loaded the model successfully. So let's move on to the chat part. I have made 10 different categories to test this model's ability on a variety of tasks. First of all, let's try to see it from creative writing perspective. Write a 50 word short poem on AI. Let's try to submit and see how it performs in this particular scenario. Yeah, just generated four stanza poem. You can see right over here. Artificial intelligence, so smart and cool. Creating learning thinking beyond our control. Do we trust it? Do we fear it? Do we love it or hate it? Or do we just accept it as part of our fate? Well, to be honest, I don't think so. It's a great job as compared to some other language models out there. So I could say that it didn't pass in creative writing perspective. Now let's try to see it from fact checking or we can say like geography and landmarks. So I would give it a prompt. Which river flows through the Grand Canyon in the United States? Let's see. It is Colorado River. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is actually right in this particular scenario. Yeah, you can see right over here that it did a good job here. This is correct. And it also tells me how long the river is. And it also tells me it flows through seven U.S. states and Mexico as well. So yeah, that was a good one. Let's move on to something similar, which is historical events. I would ask it, describe the significance of the fall of Berlin Wall in 1989. All right. So it says like the fall of Berlin Wall in 1989 was a historic event that marked the end of the Cold War and the division of Europe. It is actually correct in this particular scenario. Let's ask it a riddle, okay, to see how it performs there. I'm saying it, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. What am I? It says that you are a thought that can speak without a mouth and hear without ears. So that is actually correct and it explained as well, you can see right over here. So this one actually seems great. Let's try to see how it understands literature and codes. If I just give it a prompt, who wrote the famous opening line? It was best of times. It was the worst of time. It was actually written by Charles Dickens. Well, it's correct. It is spot on. It was published in 1859. Great. Let's see it from like multi-step reasoning now. And if I just give it a prompt, imagine you're planning a trip to Paris. What steps would you take to prepare for it? Let's see. Okay, it seems really great. You can see right over here. It just break down into eight steps. First of all, it says research the destination, then set a budget, then book flights and accommodations, then plan the itinerary, then pack essentials, learn some basic French. That's actually important. And then it says check travel requirements and then enjoy their trip. Well, it's great. I love this particular response and it is a good one. Next, let's see it from math problem solving perspective. I am giving it a prompt. Calculate the value of 3 plus 4 into 7 minus 2 into 12 divided by 3. Then I'm asking it to explain step by step. Let's see. All right. So it just made a blunder here. You can see right over here. It calculated this thing on right. Like 3 plus 4 into 7 minus 2. It break down it to 3 plus 28 minus 2 which isn't actually 39, it is 31 minus 2, 29. So it made a mistake here, which resulted in the wrong expression. It was basically 29 into 4, and the answer wasn't 156. It didn't pass this test. 
Let's try to see it from coding perspective. I am really much interested to test this model out for coding. First of all, I'm trying it to say like write a snake game in Python using Pygame. I've seen a lot of models which have a great success in this uh, game solving. Probably the best one was Deep Sea Coder. Uh, we have GPT-4 as well, which performed really great. So let's see how this model will perform here. So here is the complete implementation. I am really much interested to test this out because this code actually seems really promising. Let's copy this code from here and I will open up VS Code and paste my code in here. All right, the code actually seems fine. You can see right over here. It doesn't have the random module. Let's import that. Yeah, it seems great. Now let's try to run this and see will it work or not. Well, if we run it, you can see that the UI window pops up and closes. So it's not working as it should. So I would regard it that it failed this coding test. Let's try to see it from basic coding. I'm saying write a Python function to generate n prime number. Well, to my surprise, it just provided with very large and complex logic, but I am curious to test this thing out. Well, I've just pasted the code here and I'm trying to generate first 10 prime numbers. You can see right over here. So let me just try to run it. It's not working as expected. So I can say that this model is not that great in coding as it is good in other aspects. So that's really a drawback in my opinion. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today's exploration of Microsoft's Orca 2. While it shined in creative text generation, its performance in coding and mathematical tasks fell short of expectations. However, Orca 2's potential is undeniable. Its ability to craft compelling and diverse text formats is impressive and further development could address the limitations we encounter. Stay tuned for future developments. Remember, AI is constantly evolving and we are excited to see how Orca 2 progresses in the future. Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on this innovative language model. Till then, have a good day. Bye.